Ah, good morning, Frederick. It is Tuesday, June 11th, and I'm your host, Danny Gurry. So, Facebook decided that the Good Morning Frederick page isn't allowed to go live anymore because it's not 60 days old. Even though we streamed to that page day one and day two and then had to find a workaround to stream at the end of April and we've been streaming there every day since. This is why I push for YouTube so hard. (laughs) Fingers crossed, knock wood. We haven't had any issues streaming to YouTube. So please subscribe there and watch there. Uh, So exciting, we're at 352 subscribers. Thank you guys so much, only 148 more to reach my 500 goal by June 15th, and only five days to do it, including the rest of today. I know we can do it. I'm gonna start messaging all the people on my Facebook friends list, because seriously, I've got almost 5,000 friends. Once we hit it, I'll be giving away some Good Morning Frederick swag, and I have a ton of Maryland Lottery scratch-offs to give out, too. Remember, the growing subscribers helps all the small businesses and nonprofits and the events get more exposure, more reach. It puts it out to more people, especially those who are in our region, and it helps everyone. So please continue to share, uh, prod, beg your friends. I don't know. That's what I'm doing anyway. But I do appreciate all my advocates out there. I see you sharing. I see you putting it out there. I really appreciate it. I can't even tell you how happy it makes me uh, that you guys are working so hard on my behalf. So really appreciate all that. All right, we got that new swag at the home of everything Frederick. And uh, we got the t-shirts. We've got unisex and ladies. This is the gray ladies uh, cut shirt. Those are available now. Plus, we still have some of the OG uh, light gray shirts and hats and magnets and stickers as well. Have you got a Good Morning Frederick magnet or sticker yet? If you do, text me a photo of where it is like this right here. Look at that. So when you text me a photo or email a photo of wherever your sticker or magnet is, and I show it on the show, all you have to do is text 888-465-2944. I'll run that number across the bottom so you can see it. 888-465-2944. And you get Maryland Lottery Scratch Off. It's that easy. And if you stop in the home of Everything Frederick tomorrow evening from 5 to 9 p.m., I will be giving out some stickers for free, but you can certainly pick up your magnets and stickers at the shop tomorrow. It is the night market. We're going to talk about that under happening in Frederick. But once again, if this is your vehicle, all you have to do is text 888-465-2944. And let me know it's yours, and then I will send off some Maryland Lottery scratch-offs as soon as I get some details. 
All right, the podcast is available now on promocircus.com, and I will show you how to get to it. I'm just going to share the screen there. All right, so this is the website, promocircus.com. If you go to Everything Frederick Live, along with the calendar, you see Good Morning Frederick podcast. You can listen to all the episodes, even last yesterday's has been uploaded as well, episode number 50. Um, and you will see I messed up the numbering. So the numbering is correct here on the episode numbers. They're just not in the right order. I tried to rearrange and I don't, I don't see how I can do that easily. But anyway, I unfortunately did June before May finished and, and I don't know. I messed all that up. But from this point forward, it will be correct. And uh, you can listen to them all here. Of course, you can also listen to the podcast at Amazon Music, iHeart, Spotify, and uh, soon coming to Apple and uh, all the other platforms. It just takes some time. So uh, I want to thank my husband for helping me get all of that going and uh, very excited to have an alternative place for you to listen to Good Morning Frederick if you're a commuter or uh, doing yard work or laundry and things like that. It uh, makes it so easy to listen. So thank you guys so much. And I want to thank Rob from Intense Barbecue for the suggestion on getting that going. I hadn't even really thought about it. And uh, he, he's like, hey, it's hard for me to watch YouTube when I, or listen to YouTube when I'm driving. I said, okay, it sounds like a challenge. I can take it. And there we go. So you can go to Good Morning. Uh, you can go to promocircus.com, click on podcasts, or of course, wherever you get your podcast, search for Good Morning Frederick. Okay, on the show today, Bree Dieter from Bree Dieter Photography, and I talked to her about the impact that having a baby has had on her photography business, and Sean Dempsey from Frederick Airport talks about how we're all invited to check it out. Plus, you'll want to save the date for an upcoming event, and Mama Cone and I take a ride to Boomtown on Maryland Double Deckers. That's all coming up today. Let's get started. <music> to our Good Morning Frederick sponsor. We help you move, whether you're moving across the street or across the country. Nick and his team of moving experts can help make it easy and as stress-free as possible. Now, they can only make the moving part stress-free. Everything else, well, that's up to you. Nick's even got some great packing tips and ways to help you downsize and declutter. So contact him if you're thinking about moving or Maybe you need to put some stuff in storage or maybe get some stuff out of storage. He can help do that too. Anything that you need moved, just call We Help You Move. Veteran owned and a great supporter of the Frederick community uh, and still looking for Montana to check that one off the list. We Help You Move dot com. Now we are going to once again try to see uh, the but Bob Miller and Chris Michaels from WFMD's Morning News Express are in to cover news, weather, and sports. Let's bring them in. Well, look at this. It, but it works today. Yes. You can oh, see wait. me. Uh, yes. Yes, I see you all. Wait a minute. Let me just fix it. There we go. There we go. Let me fix this up here. How are you? We're good. First of all, I want to tell you about Nick Nicholas Walker, man. He is an amazing, amazing person. His... Uh, uh, you know, pulling for veterans. I mean, this is a guy, if you've never seen him, he straps a small trailer on a harness and will pull it through a parade over, you know, a mile long with no problems. That's how committed he is uh, to doing something. He helped me move 
uh, and may, actually made a little bit of a mistake, forgot something, put it in a van and drove it to me. So, I mean, I, there's nothing that Nicholas Walker will not do. He also helps us during our Christmas Cash for Kids campaign. So I, I love Nicholas Walker. Oh, same, same, same. Yeah, I've seen him just carry huge boxes on his back, and it just he's unbelievable. I can't wait to help you guys with uh, Christmas Cash for Kids this year. It's going to be a lot of fun. It will be a lot of fun. would love to have – can't wait to have you there. Uh, also, just to FYI, Nicholas has uh, DVDs on how to pack a trailer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. he can really? pack a trailer like no one else I've ever seen. Right. And I love the Yemi print behind you right there. Yeah. Is that a Yemi yeah, print? Yeah, you like I that. I thought so. I thought so. Yeah. Uh, very... How come you don't have a picture of me and Bob behind you? I'm just wondering. <laughs> That's coming. It's coming soon. Okay. Yeah. No, please, <laughs> Danny, don't. Don't. <laughs> All right. What a, great, so what... Uh, what a great opportunity to share a lot of things. Of course, you know, I'm the, I, I'll do the uh, sports, lots of sports last night. Baltimore defeated Tampa Bay. First time they've done this, a four-game sweep of the Rays at Tropicana Field in Florida. They beat them 5-2. to two. Gunnar Henderson smacked the very first pitch off of uh, the uh, Tampa Bay for a home run. Corbin Burns delivered another quality uh, start to help the Orioles. Uh, Gunnar Henderson only about three home runs behind Aaron Judge. Uh, in the home run category for the Thompson, the major leagues, or at least the American League. Nats had the night off yesterday. They're going to start a series with the Tigers in Detroit. Mitchell Parker will take the mound for the Nats. NFL's longest head coach is leaving, uh, isn't leaving Pittsburgh anytime soon. Steelers signed Mike Tomlin to a three year extension, keep him around till 2027. And uh, a little bit closer to home, Urbana's TJ Harn was named the Class 4A Boys Lacrosse Player of the Year by the Maryland State Lacrosse Coaches Association at a banquet on Sunday evening. Now, of course, the Hawks were 20-0 and in the season, 4A four, four state champions. Uh, he also was a finalist for the C. Marklin Kelly Award, which is given annually to the best player in the state. Regardless of whether or not he plays for public or private school, he was also named an All-American by USA Lacrosse. So uh, congratulations going out to him. Holy cow, that's amazing. I, right? I love lacrosse. I, you know what? It's a great sport, great sport. Um, and I think that uh, we, we've had this conversation on the air sometimes uh, and was, does that hurt baseball? Because lacrosse is such an exciting, you know, it's like football and hockey, and uh, it's all wrapped into one. It you is. can hit somebody with a stick. What's wrong with that? <laughs> My son played. I loved it, and we go down and see Maryland. Uh, they didn't. They didn't pull it off in the finals this year, but they made it further than we thought that they would. So, uh, but yeah, great sport to watch. Notre one Dame of our, uh, what was it? One of our uh, uh, board ops over here, Aiden. He actually plays lacrosse, Bob. I know he mentioned that to you on air before. Nice. Yeah, for Hood College, right? Yes, oh, correct. Aiden, Aiden Gil. Oh, I love Aiden Gilsdorf. <laughs> well, uh, with that, that, other things going on. I just found this out, Danny. Maybe you, you, maybe you already knew this, but Diana Gibson told us this. She said there are twelve Buddhist monks. Have you heard this? No. They are walking. They're on a two-year walking trip around the world promoting peace. And they're going to be in Frederick today, sometime this morning, and at Carroll Creek around noon today. Well, I did not know that. Yes. And uh, that's kind of cool. Two-year trek around the world. So how, I'm just curious how, how, how they get around Across the world. Across the ocean? What? Across the yeah. <laughs> they take a big breathing tank. <laughs> hey, there's the Titanic. <laughs> We're halfway there. Oh, goodness. I'm sorry. That's, they're promoting I know. peace. And I know. There were fun. things I was going to say, but I refrained. But, yeah, that's pretty amazing, though. That's a, that's a long, long walk. So are they just starting the U.S. or finishing? Do you know? I do not know that answer. I, I should have that known up. that answer, but I just know that they're going to be in Frederick, which is kind of cool. And, uh, cool. you know, 12 of them walk. That's a long, long time to take and uh, do something that they truly, truly believe in. That's a long time to spend with 11 other people, I think. <laughs> You're absolutely right you'd on that. You'd have to be walking for peace on that one, I think. Yes, and you'll get very familiar with everybody. Yes, yeah. you will. Yes, you we will. All know What's that. happening in news, uh, Chris? 
Well, I'll tell you what, after 21 years of marriage with my wife, my wife will probably say the same thing. That's really too long to be spending with somebody. But uh, news, uh, a coalition of parents continue to fight to save the uh, remote virtual program for third through eighth grade students in Frederick County. Uh, the program lets students with special educational needs, such as you know autism, uh, medically fragile, immune compromise, AD, ADHA, mental health disorders, and other reasons, attend classes through a computer rather than a traditional brick and mortar building. The Board of Education has eliminated the program for students from third through eighth grade uh, to balance out the uh, school system's budget. And that's a topic that me and Bob get into uh, pretty heavily uh, uh, on the Morning News Express. Uh, um, we have our disagreements about that. Then we do have our agreements on it also. So uh, Frederick County uh, also receives $1.2 million in federal funding for the uh, microgrid for the Prospect Center on, uh, on Monday. A check totaling uh, $1.2 million in federal funding was presented to Frederick County officials. Now, the money will be used to install a solar charged microgrid on the roof of the uh, Prospect Center at 585 Himes Avenue in Frederick. Uh, the, the microgrid will have a solar array and two megawatt battery for storage. County Executive Jessica Fitzwater says this microgrid will continue to supply electricity to critical services during power outages. This means that in the event of severe weather, which we've had tornadoes here, what, I think a week ago, mm -hmm. uh, our critical services such as 911 Emergency Operations Center and our information technology services will have the ability to continue to serve county residents by using power for the microgrid powered by the solar array and the battery backup, which is really important. I remember years ago when I worked in uh, D.C., they had really bad weather, uh, bad winds, and it actually knocked down 911. You couldn't actually call 911 uh, back in D.C. That was about four or five years ago. You might have remembered that, that uh, horrible weather there. Uh, also, the uh, Frederick Department of Housing and Human Services has taken a proactive role in ensuring no child goes hungry this summer by participating in the uh, Summer Food Service Program. Now, this program will provide free lunches to children on weekdays from June to August at seven locations in Frederick and one location in Brunswick and Walkersville by making these meals available to all children without charge. Now, the meals will be provided to all children without, uh, again, without charge. The program will provide meals uh, beginning at 10, uh, or began yesterday, and continues through August 16th. Now, just head to our website at WFMD.com. You can see a list of the schools that are participating close to you. I think that's a great thing they're doing. Um, me and Bob both agree no student should ever go hungry. No child should go hungry. And we've heard in the past that some students, unfortunately, they look forward to going to school just so they can get uh, – complete meals, which is uh, absolutely uh, heartbreaking. I think, and, I think all of those should be getting um, food from intense barbecue. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> I heard you mention them earlier, and they, they have some good barbecue, that's for sure. Oh, my gosh, they do. They have some of my favorite. Yes, the, the parfait. The meat parfait is one of my favorite <laughs> items. Absolutely. Yep. Uh, I gotta, I'll do finally uh, sunshine today. Looks like we're going to have a pretty nice, gorgeous day. Temperatures in the mid 70s, which, you know, in Frederick, it can go from 50 to 110 in a blink of an eye. But today it's going to stop in the 70s. I love it. I tell you, the, the low humidity the past couple of days. Oh, it's been fantastic. That's when you can get out. You do stuff. You can go down to the. C&O Canal, you can get on your bike ride from Brunswick to Harper's Ferry, walk across the bridge, go get an ice cream cone and come back or, you know, do whatever, play some golf, go out and play some pickleball, yeah. uh, which I think that needs to be something, Danny, you need to do. I do. I need to, Danny. I've been talking about it for years. I've got to learn how to play pickleball. I have a friend of mine. Uh, well, she's actually more of a friend of my wife's who is nationally ranked in her age category in pickleball wow I'm i've never played that before never played to, pickleball i'm yeah okay so i need to start with chris first and then we'll work our way up to your wife's friend yes yes and then i have a hard time some now getting older i have a hard time opening up pickle jars so it's <laughs> yeah 
That's when he calls uh, the wife to open those pickle jars for him, right, Bob? Right. Here, honey. Help me That's out. That's right. <laughs> All right. Well, we want to thank Chris Michaels and Bob Miller from WFMD's Morning News Express. Thank you guys so much thank for giving you. us the update on news, weather, and sports. Thank you, Danny. Have a great day. Have an awesome day. All right. Want to thank them? That's fantastic. All right. Let's talk about what I got to give you first. Oh, wrong one. Let's go here. Somebody's calling me. Obviously, they're not watching the show. Um, all right. We want to thank Thermont Fireman's Carnival, which is opening June 17th. That is next week, next Monday through the 22nd. They have the parade on June 20th. Pre-sale ride tickets are now on sale, just $20, and you can get them at Woodsboro Bank in Thermont. Thermont locations only for Woodsboro Bank and Wise Market. And uh, Country Kitchen in Thermont as well has your free, uh, not free, your $20 ride wristbands, your pre-sale ride wristbands. And you can also go to Guardian Hose Company in Thermont, but you're going to want to check their Facebook page to see days and times because of course they're out fighting fires and keeping us all safe so they can't be out there doing that 24 7 but get your ride wristbands before you go you're going to save yourself five dollars each and if you have a few kids that's pizza and cotton candy and maybe a drink so if you want to win a ride wristband well i got you covered on that one just text ride to 888-465-2944. We're going to be giving those away this Friday. And you can also win that one month of classes from Fit for Mom if you text FIT. And if you want the Maryland Lottery scratch-offs each week, giving away five, you're going to want to check your text because our winner from last week hasn't responded. Um, Five Maryland Lottery scratch-offs each Friday, text MDL. And finally, you can get a month of unlimited spray tans from Glow by B. Just text TAN, and that one is going to be the 21st. You have until the 21st, so this week and next week to enter to win that. All right, if you're looking for a great place for lunch or dinner and you like sushi or ramen, I highly recommend Nomu. Sushi Nomu right down in Westview. Check them out. Danny and I recently had dinner at Sushi Nomu and I've got to tell you, it was absolutely unbelievable. The decor, phenomenal. The food, just amazing. I had the best miso soup I've ever had. The sushi was so fresh and delicious, and it was actually a feast for the eyes. The presentation was stunning, and the service was impeccable. The sushi fresh, the sashimi, the best I've ever had. I can't say enough great things about it. If you're looking for a great place, maybe to go on a date, or maybe just to try something new, it's affordable, it is beautiful, and you will not be disappointed, I promise. Sushi Nomu at sushinomu.com or 4969 Westview Drive, just beyond the Dunkin' Donuts. Yes. Check out Sushi Nomu, I'm telling you. Oh, delicious. Amazing. All right, coming up after the break, Mama Cone and I hitch a ride to Boomtown on Maryland Double Deckers. Bree talks about how she's still learning after all these years. And Sean Dempsey invites us all to Frederick Airport this summer. That's all coming up right after this. All in One Events is Frederick's number one source for event rentals and entertainment. Please visit us on the web at www.aioeventgroup.com or call 1-888-727-8902 for more information. And ANS Construction, a local and award-winning woman and minority-owned business. And it's right here in Frederick. You don't have to go far. 
and they specialize in roofing and siding along with windows, gutters, patios, and decks. So if you're looking outside right now and you see a gutter that doesn't look so right, or maybe during all those rains recently you noticed water was kind of flowing everywhere, give ANS Construction a call. Sandra will come over and check it out and see if you need anything done. Uh, you can give them a call 301-703-2157 or email info at ansconstruction.net. And when you do, if you need work done, you can get $750 off any roof or siding replacement or $50 off any roof repairs. And let Sandra know you saw her on Good Morning Frederick. I'm going to be updating uh, you guys soon with uh, another interview with Sandra on the job site. We're going to be visiting her in the next week or so, which is going to be a lot of fun. And she's amazing. And she is somebody you want in your corner like she is in mine. We love that so much. All right, let's talk about what's happening in Frederick. Happening in Frederick is sponsored by Taco Bar. It is Taco Tuesday. Get your 20% off three tacos all day long. It's at West Point Plaza on Route 40, right between 40 and alternate 40. You can find the Taco Bar, and it is gorgeous inside. Remember how I showed you? Oh, I love the decor, and I love the fact that they give you your tacos with the meat, and then you go to the taco bar to put on all the toppings you want. I love that, especially if you love like extra pico or anything like that. I, you know, when they're chintzy and you want a little bit more, it's a little bit hard to do that anywhere else, not at taco bar. You can also get your tacos in steak, chicken, al pastor, carnitas, or fish. There's also vegan taco options as well. And if you're feeling adventurous, check out the beef tongue and small intestine tacos. It's tacobar1.com online or Taco Bar. West Point Plaza on Route 40. I want to thank them so much for that. All right, last night, Mama Cone and I hitched a ride to Boomtown. And a while back, you might remember, I interviewed Sawyer McLaughlin, the writer and director who's bringing this true-to-life story to the big screen. It's going to be great. I'm so excited about it. He is going to be ta uh, taking Frederick back to the 1940s, actually, 1945 uh, and the 1970s. We stopped at some key locations last evening and saw them from the top of Maryland Double Deckards. It's really going to be a walk back in history. The Francis Scott Key Hotel. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to tell you uh, about what's going to be happening there. But in the meantime, let's check out our ride on Maryland Double Deckers. <laughs>
You don't realize how high you are in those buses until you come to that tree line and those wires and the stoplights, but it is a great view from the top of Maryland Double Deckers. And the Scott Key Hotel and Weinberg Center, which was the Tivoli Theater, are key locations on the film. So look out for both locations to be sent back to 1945, just after the end of World War II, and the same day as Frederick's Bicentennial. It's gonna be so exciting. Uh, and there's going to be a lot happening in downtown Frederick soon, I believe this fall. Uh, we're going to be talking about Boomtown more and interviewing some of the key players in future shows. I got to sit behind Don Linton and his wife, who have been a part of Frederick since then. And uh, their families have been part of Frederick since before that, generations. And I think it's quite interesting, the history behind these rebel rousers really who kind of changed the scope of frederick which is fantastic uh, so more coming about boomtown but keep your eyes open because you could be an extra or you might have some part in donating to help get this film completed want to thank wlr's automotives randy the owner has donated he's the largest donor so far fifty thousand dollars to help get this project done, which is fantastic. All right, you know what to do if you wanna know what's happening in Frederick. I know you do, uh, because we talk about it every day, right? You can check out the calendar, which right here, you can click on calendar of events and you're gonna see that everything Frederick calendar, you can also get a link directly to it if you text the word calendar to 888-465-2944. Um, let's see what we got. Uh, we've got today. Let's look at today here. All right. Today is Tuesday. It is Regal's Summer Movie Express today. Dollar movies. So you're going to want to click the link to go find out what movies are playing. Um, it is 11 a.m. I think every Tuesday. So dollar movies if you want to find something affordable for your kids to do if they're looking for that. Uh, we, I've added some more, uh, food truck stops as well. And WFRE, it is opening night for the, or yeah, opening evening for the Frederick Keys today. They are back home after being on the road and WFRE will be out at Harry Grove Stadium for the game this evening. Uh, they've got, uh, Tawny Town Fire, Volunteer Fire Departments, uh, Carnival is happening as well. Like I said, this is carnival season for sure. Um, and then tomorrow you are going to want to join us at the home of everything Frederick. We will be there from 5 to 9 p.m. for the downtown Frederick night market. So join us at the home of everything Frederick. I'm going to have some giveaways if you stop by the shop. And of course, you can pick up your swag. You can also check out all of the raffle baskets that we have on display to raise money for some fabulous charities. And that is Wednesday, tomorrow, 5 to 9 p.m. The Frederick Keys are also home again tomorrow evening. Then Thursday, I have some of the library events. Uh, you can see Baby Story Time at Middletown. Musical story time at Brunswick, as well as Thurmont. Uh, there are so many great programs at our local libraries, and I'm working hard to get all of them onto our calendar because, I mean, there. if you have young kids, it is actually, they have programming all the way up to teenager. Uh, you can uh, check all of that out. Uh, then there is the fingerboard farm market is open from 11 to 5 30. They've got organic produce and local meats as well. Uh, that is located right on fingerboard road in Imesville. They also, I put on here the places that I do know, Bob, um, and uh, Chris were talking about the summer lunch program opportunities where kids can get their free lunches during the summer. Walkersville Public Library is the place in Walkersville you can go and I will check out, oh, I've got the one here too. Brunswick Library is the one in Brunswick. So, and then I believe the others and I will double check where you 
kids can get lunches in Frederick. Um, Thursday is obviously Alive at Five as well. And this week it is Pebble to Pearl. R&B is uh, the band this week at Alive at Five. This weekend, again, come to the home of everything Frederick and make sure you purchase your raffle tickets and vote for your favorite basket. You could also win it and you don't have to be present to win. Um, and let's see what else is happening. There is a public safety fair at the Frederick Fairgrounds on Friday from 3 to 7. And you can check out Andy Webb from WFRE from 3 to 7 there at the public safety fair. Again, the Frederick Keys are in town. I'm going to be hopefully working with them to get some free tickets to give away to you this season. Always a fun time. Good, affordable family entertainment, similar to the Flying Cows. Um, and then this weekend, Saturday, uh, we've got tons of stuff happening. I'm telling you, it doesn't matter where you are. You can do Touch a Truck in Thermont. That's kind of fun if you've got some young ones there. You can check out the Let There Be Rock Fest. That is this Saturday at the farm. And uh, that benefits rhythm changes. I kind of forgot this was happening. So I'm glad I checked this out. Glad I have this calendar. Let There Be Rock Fest this Saturday, noon to nine at AMVETS Post 2, which is the farm located right off 144, right next to Tree Trekkers. You can check out that event and all the proceeds benefit rhythm changes. And if you can't buy a ticket, why don't you go ahead on to the rhythmchanges.org website and donate the ticket price. Rhythm Changes is that organization that gives kids musical instruments and scholarships to have music lessons so that uh, they can maybe change their future and do something that they're really interested in. Uh, they've also, uh, there's up. Oh, Saturday night, open mic night at the Village in Warman's Mill. That is going to be fun. And if you're a runner, you can check out the Summer Solstice 8K, which is the evening. It's the twilight. It is at 6 p.m. at the Walkersville Carnival Grounds. That's a great race, a lot of fun, and uh, usually much cooler in the evening than it is during the day. And then on Sunday, you can see there is, oh, a library visit at Sophie and Madigan's Playground. That's kind of fun. Uh, you can go up to Sophie and Madigan's Playground and have the library meet you there. Uh, that's a great playground if you've got young kids. It has got some really, really cool stuff there. If you've not seen it, uh, you should head up that way and check it out. And then Celebrate Frederick's Summer Concert Series kicks off this week at the Baker Park. Well, I think maybe it was last week. It, did it kick off last week or is this week the first week? I can't remember. I think last week was the first week. So it continues on Sunday evenings at the Band Shell. Uh, it kicks, it's at 7 p.m. Uh, you can see the lineup. Yes, yeah, so it was Max Rosado on the 7th Street Pan this past Sunday. And this coming band, uh, week, it is Starlight Anthem. So that is a really fun time, too. Free concerts at Baker Park on Sunday evenings. Uh, always a ton of people out there, and the kids can run around and play on the playground equipment, and you can lay out a blanket and enjoy the summer concert series. All right, don't forget about the free event on January, uh, January June 22nd. Uh, I'm going to bring in Michelle to tell us a little bit more about the free event for veterans. I am on right, where, where are we? Reichsford Road? Reichsford Road. Reichsford Road. We help you move with Michelle to talk about this great event for veterans coming up soon. Yes, the Pulling for Veterans is hosting, and you're our co-host and yes, our MC. Yes, We're having a big party for veterans and first responders on June 22nd okay. out at the Burkittsville Roar Town Grounds. Okay. It's going to be from 3 to 9 p.m. We have free food, tons of barbecue, activities, three bands. Um, going to have tug-of-war contests with a kiddie pool full of water in the middle. Oh, so fun. hopefully we can get some departments against <laughs> each other or branches right. of the military and... 
younger, older generation, somebody see who ends up in the tub of water. I'm yeah. um, gonna have bouncy houses for the kids, checkers contests. So, you know, maybe have some seven year olds and 70 year olds see who can outplay each other on the checker boards. I love it. Yeah. Just yeah. It's gonna be and a fun evening. It is gonna be a fun evening. You already have over 200 people who yes. have RSVP. We've had 200 RSVPs. We can have up to 500 people at the venue. Um, everything is free, but we are asking everyone to RSVP for our food count. Okay. So if you're interested in tickets, just text tickets to 240-285-4487. Okay. And then we'll respond to see how many tickets you need and your family's last name to put you on the list. Nice. It's so easy. But yeah. just what a way for pulling for veterans to give back to those who are serving or have served. Yep. So any veteran or emergency responder or loved one of a veteran if yeah. they're someone that you've lost and you want to come honor them and yeah, yeah it's just going to be a great day that's right yeah so really look anybody who has a connection with a veteran please text the number uh, say that number again and i'll put it on the screen go ahead 240-285-4487 okay and then michelle will make sure and get you taken care of as far as how many people are in your party and give you all the information that you need. But it's going to be a great event. It is. Um, the other thing that we're looking for that day is for some volunteers. Yes. To help out to give back to the veterans and the first responders. So if you're interested in coming out and helping that day as well, or if you're a teen that needs community service hours for when school starts back up, well, happy to help you and hook you yeah. up with your hours. So yes. reach out to the same phone number, 240 Two eight five four four eight seven. if you're interested in volunteering. Yes, so we need lots of volunteers because now we have lots of people to, to feed, feed and <laughs> direct and herd to different activities, but it's going to be a great fun day. June 22nd, what time does it start? It starts at 3. 3 o'clock. We are asking for RSVPs to be in by June 14th so okay. that we can get all of our food orders in and yeah. adequate time for our sponsors and so forth. And yeah. Be ready for everybody that afternoon, so. It'll be awesome. Come on out and join us. Can't wait to see you June 22nd. All right, I want to thank Michelle there, and we can't wait to see the veterans and first responders. All right, if you want to get a copy of that calendar, just go to promocircus.com, click on everything Frederick Live and events, and if you have an event you want included on the calendar or you want me to mention, just email it to everything Frederick Live at gmail.com. Okay, one more quick break and we'll get to Bree Dieter Photography and Sean Dempsey, the manager of the Frederick Airport. That's coming right after this. Elevate your next party with Dreamscape Slumber Events. Over 12 themes and customization available for kids, teens, and adults to enjoy. Don't have the space? We have solutions for that, too. Search Dreamscape Slumber Events on Facebook. And don't forget about that promo circus code to save $25 off on your slumber event from Dreamscape. All right, let's talk about People of Frederick. Sean Dempsey wants you to visit the Frederick Airport this year, and they're going to be putting on a little bit of glitz later this summer, uh, early fall actually. But in the meantime, come on out and check it out. Frederick Airport with Sean Dempsey. So uh, you guys are kicking off a summer of fun at the Frederick Airport. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about kind of how this got going and what you guys are trying to do. So a big thing that my boss and I have been working towards is really just community involvement out here at the airport to let people understand what kind of resource the airport is to the community. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people ask, okay, well, I can't buy an air right. airline ticket out of Frederick. <laughs> so what, how does this airport benefit me as a citizen of the city? So what we do is we have events like this to try to bring people to the airport. You're right here at the fence. You've got an airplane parked right there behind yeah. us. Uh, people can come out, they can experience it. They can get involved with what we've got going on here at the airport. 
Uh, so we really, it was just, this is a culmination of us really just trying to have more community events out here. We wanted to have a snow cone truck over the course of the summer because there's no shade here. Yeah. Now it's hot. Nope. So we're like, let's have snow cones. Yeah. Uh, and they've been a great partner. They were like, okay, let's have a, let's have a library mobile. Let's have chalk. Let's have face painting. Let's have hula hoops. So yeah. today we made that happen. This is a kickoff event for them being here over the course of the summer. Okay, and so the idea is every Friday this summer, are you guys doing this? So every Friday this summer, the snow cone truck, okay. the shade ice truck will be here. This event, kind of as special as it is today, will not be uh, okay. every Friday of the summer, uh, but this is really just kind of to let people know this is happening. Now. Okay, gotcha. So every Friday this summer, you'll be able to come in and get uh, shaved ice and uh, know that the airport is part of the city. Yeah. And you can watch the planes take off and land yeah. and that kind of good stuff. Yeah. And, you know, there's people that are coming and going throughout the day, different groups that are based here at the airport to help people learn how to get more involved. There was just a women in aviation group that was here at the table. Oh, nice. Um, so they've, they made some contact with people today. People were interested. So really, that's the whole purpose of doing yeah. this. Uh, but, yeah, the shaved ice truck will be here 11 okay. to 4 every Friday until the last Friday of August. Okay. Uh, and then that takes us into our fall season where we really start preparing for the Festival of Flight. Right, so, right. And that what what date is that this year? That is September 28th. Okay. It's a Saturday, and that will be from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Yes, and that's really where the airport puts on yeah. the fancy duds and opens up to the public. That is the direct result of people coming up to us and asking, when is the air show coming? Yeah. Back? Because that's yeah. most people know that the Frederick Airport used to have a very nice air show. Yeah. Uh, we've got a pretty small management team here, and it's kind of our way of saying, here's what we can do. So awesome. we have, uh, this year is going to be even bigger than last year. So if people came last year, there was a lot of aircraft on just display. Yeah. This year, we're going to have two closures. We'll have a radio controlled airplane air show. Yeah. I call it an air show, <laughs> but we'll have an air show uh, for just radio controlled airplanes and maybe a couple other demonstrations throughout the day. Yeah. And we'll have a couple of World War II aircraft that are coming this year. Oh, too. fantastic. Well, we can't wait for that. So get out to the Frederick Airport. Check it out. I mean, it's part of the city. It's located very close to downtown, near the fairgrounds. I want to thank Sean and the entire Frederick Airport team for having us out today. Thanks, Dan. A little windy out there, but uh, yeah. And tomorrow, uh, I'm going to introduce you to Jackie from Cote Kids uh, Shaved Ice, who is helping to put all of that together. Now let's move to our market makers. Bree Dieter has been capturing special occasions since she was 16 years old, but she's still learning the new techniques and trying to keep up. And she wants to be part of your milestone celebrations. Let's meet Bree. I'm talking to Bree Dieter from Bree Dieter Photography, an old friend who has had a baby and is taking amazing pictures. How are you? Thank you. I'm good. How are you? It's good to talk I'm to you. I'm great. Again. Uh, I'm great. So your daughter was born just over a year ago. Yeah. How no. has that changed or has it changed at all uh, in things that you're doing each day? Um, well, of, of course, actually, my life has completely changed <laughs> since I've had her. You know, my life revolves around her now, which is a good thing. You know, I'm happy to have her. Um, Pretty much everything I do is for her and revolves around her, like I said, but that's uh, being a mom. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it yeah, does it does. Well. It has a crazy way of turning the world upside down. Has it affected your photography at all? It has in the respect that, um, you know, I didn't go full time until I had her. You know, she kind of pushed me to take the leap of faith to go full time with my business, which I should have done a long time ago. But sometimes it just takes like, you know, a really big thing to push you out of your comfort zone. Sometimes you just can't get out by yourself. Yeah. Yeah. No, look, I mean, I think, you know, any time you try to you know, make that move, um, you know, sometimes it's the best things that push you forward that make you want to achieve. And I, I think that that's awesome. Now your photography, I've seen a lot. So you, you've been doing, uh, I've seen maternity pictures and graduations and all sorts of different, you know, collaborations of, of people. What's your favorite? Uh, do you have a favorite shoot that you've worked on? Um, 
who oh, I've been doing it for so long. I like I know. A, it, like a specific favorite shoot, no, just because there are so many really awesome ones that I've done. I'd say recently a favorite that I did was a surprise proposal at Baker Park. I did that a few months ago. That was really fun. And then I just recently did like a mom and me session with a with like a grown son and his mom. <laughs> but he dressed up like a kid. Like he wanted to give his mom like the the photo session experience that wasn't really around when he was younger. So like, I love really that. <laughs> I actually saw it on social and it kind of reminded me of those awkward family photos at first. And then when yeah. I read why he was doing it, I thought, Oh, how sweet is that? Yeah, it, it was it was a lot of fun. It was it, we were all just laughing the whole time. And then we broke into kind of a normal session. He changed and you know, so we have those normal family memories to remember forever. But I'm sure him and his family are gonna laugh at those forever. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, it, hey, if you can't have a good time in uh, taking photos like that, and he's right, you know, when we were younger, there wasn't these cool photo sessions available. I just went to a wedding uh, a few weeks ago and you know, there was no such thing when I got married as a first look and all these great images that you can get now um, from, you know, photography. And I just think it's, it's fabulous. So that's great. Yeah, it's lots of fun. <laughs> so you have been taking photos, I think since you, I remember you were like 16 years old. Um, how, what has been the biggest challenge like so far in your career, you know, that's kind of had you maybe changing a little bit or pivoting a little bit? Have you come across a challenge in your career so far? I mean, to be completely honest, I would say that it's been the whole career has been a challenge, you know, because <laughs> it, everything is constantly changing. So I'm for the past 10 years, you know, I've constantly been changing and adapting and learning. And, you know, then there are a lot of photographers around now compared to the that there used to be. So there's just a lot of, you know, stuff that you have to constantly learn and, you know, figure out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so it's a constant education. You're always keeping yourself up to date. What type are you talking like when you try to keep yourself up to date? Because you do really well on social media, which I think is so important because people want to see what your eye sees, which is sometimes, you know, very different. I love some of the creative spins you've put on your photos, mm -hmm. like post production. Is that what you're talking about when you're trying to keep up with like different technology to integrate and things like that? Yeah, and mostly, you know, you know, the marketing is always changing and social media is always changing their algorithms. And, you know, it just kind of everything is how it works and how things are being pushed is always changing. So I would say that's kind of like my big challenge is yeah. keep it, keeping up with all of the changes. And, you know, like so sometimes, you know, the Facebook algorithm isn't too nice to, nope. to small businesses anymore no. and stuff like that. It's just trying to figure out, you know, what's the best way to push things, kind of keep a nice balance as well. Yeah. yeah. What would you say is your um, point of differentiation? Because you are correct, like they're at pretty much everyone with a camera or phone or whatever, you know, is calling themselves a photographer, which, you know, could be true. Um, do you have kind of something that you say, you know, this is this is what makes me different from the rest? Well, something that that I that I like to think about is that I do have kind of a base education in photography, like a formal education, which is really helpful um, for me, you know, kind of being able to jump into any situation and adapt, you know, any lighting situation, I could just walk in and, you know, take a look around and handle and I feel like with that base knowledge, it, it you know, you have to learn the rules like like a pro so you can break them you know like kind, yeah. kind of like that <laughs> yeah yeah no for sure like i think kind of having that understanding of how photography works and kind of the theories behind it gives you you're right that base to be able to manipulate it or see something from a different perspective than someone else may um, now you do um sessions on location and you do you also have access to a studio that you use yeah there are a few different studios that i have access to that i use kind of with me and the client's discretion depending on what they're looking for yeah 
yeah, yeah and then sometimes sure. i do um in-home lifestyle sessions as well where i'll visit the client's home most of the time that's for a newborn session but uh yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. nobody wants well. to take their newborn out into the public so going to them is sometimes easier yeah definitely <laughs> <laughs> and uh how many photos have you taken of your own daughter is it like millions already yeah i couldn't <laughs> i couldn't count <laughs> Understandable. So all of us too. What is the best way for people to get in touch with you? Oh my, I'm all over the place. Um, really the, the central point would be my website, breedeaterphotography.com, but I'm everywhere, Facebook, Google, Instagram, you know, how we talked about social media and keeping up. I yeah. really try to keep up. So you can pretty much find me anywhere. Yeah, if you type in Brie, B-R, two eyes, uh, yeah. you will find her for sure. Now, you service Washington County, Frederick County. Are there any other places that you go consistently? Um, I would say I do a lot of work in Pennsylvania. I'd say, you know, like Franklin County. Oh, nice. Excellent. Yeah, I don't really out there. know all of the counties off of the top of my head, but I, I do a lot of work in PA, actually. <laughs> oh, that's really good. That's really good uh, for you, too, because I know you're up in Washington County, based out of there. So yeah, be right in quick the middle. And easy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you are for sure. Now, do you classify yourself in any particular specialty? Like I know I've talked to some photographers who are really strictly weddings and I know you do like family portraiture. Is there any specific uh, specialty that you like to target? I like to call myself a milestone photographer. So I'm photographing a lot of really important times in people's lives. Be that, you know, like a first birthday, graduation, senior portraits, things like that, uh, family portraits even. It is kind of a milestone just to, to watch your family grow and um, things like that. So um, I would say that I do take on a limited amount of weddings each year, but I really like to focus on the portrait photography and the weddings, you know, are a lot. So yeah. I only, only do a few of those, but I do enjoy them as well. I just really like to focus on the milestones and the yeah. portraits and I like to do holidays and fun things like that. Yes, yes. And I have seen some of your holiday pictures. So do you have um, any packages uh are they on your website where people can actually um or do you do you like to just contact people have them chat with you so that you can understand what they need first it works both ways i have um a part on my website where you can go in and you can type in an inquiry form with all of the information about your session but i do have some preset bookings on my website that you can go in and customize and and kind of like automatically book but then I still do get in contact with the client. I kind of kind of like to start communicating right away because I like yeah. to know what their vision is for the session so I can prepare kind of for as long as possible beforehand. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, because there's, you know, when I would assume for photography, just like when I go out and talk to people, when you kind of know what angle they're shooting for, you can enhance that with your skills, uh, but you kind of at least stay in line with what they're looking for and then maybe occasionally throw them a surprise or two that they weren't expecting. <laughs> Absolutely. And that's so fun. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Look, Bree, I think you're wonderful. I've had a great time over the years working with you. I think you do capture some great moments and uh, I hope everybody heads to your website again <laughs> coming up. There might be uh, a special occasion, a family reunion, a birth of a new baby, or again, these milestone birthdays that uh, I know you'll be able to capture for people very well. So we really appreciate your time today. Absolutely. Thank you. And thank you for having me. You know, I'm always happy to talk to you. I uh, love Brie Dieter. want to thank her and you're going to want to check her out if you've got any photography needs coming up. All right. Coming up tomorrow, Jackie from Cote Kids Shaved Ice and Julie Gaver and I chat about Souls of Love. My goal this year is 200 pairs of shoes, which can be dropped off at the home of Everything Frederick. All right, we're on all the socials. Don't forget when you have a minute, like, comment, subscribe, share, because that can be your act of kindness today. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. You can follow me on TikTok if you look up Danny, just Danny. 
Get out there, have an awesome Tuesday, and let's be great, Frederick. From downtown.